Welcome, friends, to another episode of Seven Days to Die modded with Sorcery Mod. This is our first look here at this mod series, episode three. If you'd like to start from the beginning, do check the top pinned comments. I always put my playlists there. That's the best way to watch them. But I am hiding out here on top of our base for the night because I'm a scaredy cat. And as you can tell, I've gotten the attention of a zombie down below. What had happened was I was thirsty. Took a drink of red tea, and it was like, I heard that red tea, and now it's very angry. But before we jump into all this, guys, I just want to say a big thank you for your participation in uh, engaging with the video. I really, really do appreciate that. I am personally going for a goal this, this year, guys, of 150 by the end of the year. 150,000 subscribers, I mean, uh, by the end of the year. And by doing that, you guys are helping me out greatly. But moving on from that... We gotta go and take care of this damn zombie because it is driving me nuts. Let's take a look around here. I don't really see any other zombies. I do apologize, it's a little dark. Um, oh no, did it make it up into the house? Ooh, I think it did. I think it actually might be in the house. Okay, anyway. Um, I pressed F for flashlight, not remembering I don't have my helmet on. And if you press F, as um, other people have said in the comments, it gives you this ice ore. As you can see, this, this little thing is blinking here. And if we check that out, invoking the power of your aspect of ice rune, you are emitting a chilling ice aura. You will chill enemies within the aura for four seconds ice damage. So this must mean any zombies that get close to me would get this aura, which is actually pretty damn neat. Now, I'm really looking forward to getting to know this mod, guys, knowing how to run it. And maybe, just maybe, if we have some time this season... Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh, you can see her down there because I put that ice aura on, on it. Oh, nice! Okay, can we, can we shoot her now? Let's go ahead and draw back. Oh, you come back here! Oh, that's a dog! That's a dog I hear out there now. Uh-oh. Is there a wandering horde nearby? Is that what's happening? That would be a very bad thing. We're in a wood building. <laughs> It'll last so long. But at least we're able to take care of that one. And it looks like that ice aura actually affects zombies from quite a distance. That's pretty damn exciting. I like that. Okay, well, I guess uh, we'll have to try to take out the zombies and stuff. Oh, there's a dog. What's up, doggy? Come over this way. You can share the same fate as your friend over here. There we go. Let's put one into its body. Into its head. There we go. And I don't think it can reach this one, so we're just A-OK. -okay. Nice. Okay, so we took care of the dog, too. So we should be fine here for a few moments. I was going through and reading my comments and stuff, and... Uh, Reading this journal here, whoops if I click on the right thing. If you're bored at night, guys, go to the journals and mods. If it's a good mod, it'll actually give you a lot of information and you can go and read up and see what is going on. Anyway, uh, looks like I don't have any more attention and that's a good thing. So what I'm going to keep doing then is just kind of renovating this roof and making myself a nice little safe house here. So I've gone ahead here and actually punched all this out so that we can see down into the base and potentially shoot any zombies from here. It might be a little easier uh, than doing it from over there, but it does look like we've attracted the attention of yet another zombie here. Uh, but it doesn't want to come upstairs. Come on upstairs, big boy. A couple of the other zombies made it. The dog made it. Please tell me you're smarter than a dog. So while we have some time tonight, I was going and looking at our skill trees here. And as you can see, we've got the normal skill trees, which are all good. But then we also got these extra skill trees like sorcery, fire sorcery, ice sorcery, lightning, unholy, and holy. Oh, that's kind of cool. I do not believe these are in at all. Yeah, there's nothing under their description. So as you can tell, uh, they're not active. So we only got fire, uh, fire sorcery and ice sorcery available and then the main sorcery skill. But if we take a look at this, the attribute sorcery, it's a measure of your spell casting, crafting, and overall ability as a sorcerer. So we definitely want to increase that. The full power of a sorcerer is unleashed when you transcend the elements. Uh, so let's look at number two. Uh, your training is complete. You're now an initiate sorcerer. Learn how to craft an arcane wheel tailoring station. Ooh, we can make ourselves probably some armor and stuff. All sorcery is 20% more destructive and effective. All spell casting is 10% faster. Maximum spirit is increased by 20 and spirit regeneration is increased by 0.2. So I think that's definitely worth 
putting a point into because we have a whole ton of points. We keep getting those grim wires and they give you a skill point every single time. So it's a good thing to uh, spend these. So I think what I'm going to do here is uh, put another point into this. All sorcery is 30% more destructive and effective. Spellcasting is 15% faster. And maximum spirits increased by 30 along with a 0.3 spirit regeneration. Okay, so we put a few points into that. Uh, what does this give us? 40%, 20%, so it doesn't unlock any building stuff or anything like that. So we'll leave that for now. And we'll take a look here into, uh, into this stuff. I just got to read it quickly. I think this one here is a good idea. Uh, you're now an initiate empath. Empath. Wow. <laughs> you find 50% more essence from all sources. You find an additional 50% more essence in respective biome. Nice. So let's go ahead and buy that up. And I'll take a look at the other ones here. So these three here are for alchemy. Of course, we can make uh, better potions and stuff with this. We got rune mastery, so we can make runes. We can uh, learn to craft common runes. We can learn to craft the enchanting table to make rune enchant. So I, I'm thinking maybe dropping. Uh, we can learn to make the enchanted mortar. We have one of those, but it'd be nice to get another one again in case we lose it. I'm thinking it's a good idea to invest a point in every single one of these and we can make ourselves a whole bunch of new things. So that's going to be today's objective here. We're going to get this place fixed up and we're going to learn how to make these scrolls and everything else. I think that's pretty exciting. So first things first, I got to go down here and uh, we got to take care of this zombie. Here we go. And then we will go out, gather some materials. I need a ton of wood because we have a whole ton of holes in the floor and I just kind of want to get those covered up. Oh, look at that. You've been chilled. <laughs> okay, so let's go outside here. I do think I believe I heard another zombie. Anyone else out here? Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, jeez, there's one right there. Whoa, look at that. Okay, so apparently you can loot these guys and get very valuable stuff from them before um, uh, before you kill them. So let's go see if we can catch up to this thing. And uh, there we go. Oops. Pressed escape because I was panicking. Okay, so we did get some loot from her. Uh, not entirely sure what we got because uh, it slowed down. There we go. Let's do some uh, physical damage to her first of all. And we have a spell. Boom. <laughs> I bet that didn't feel so good. So we do have a few of these left too. We are making some of these in our forge. So I don't mind spelling these uh, or spelling them. Uh, using them. There you go. You kind of almost got to go for the center of the mass. Ooh. Here we go. One more shot. Oh, no. That's all we had to. Okay. So I guess uh, we're going to rely on some bow and arrow skills here. Ooh, we got a fire. Oh, ouch. Boom, there she goes. Okay, holy crap. Those things are not fun to deal with. Oh, what's this? A fallen sorcerer's soul. Holy crap, look at all the lightning essence we got out of that. We got a lucky ammo rune. Uh, wow, okay. Um, we probably should install that. Let's take a look at our gear here. And can we modify this? No, it's already modified, Dirk. Uh, can we modify this? Kind of a crappy piece of uh, gear, but let's take a look. There we go. So we have the Lucky Ammo Rune. Uh, lucky Ammo, increased ammo loot, effectiveness plus 2% per rune, uh, spirit cost per use too. Okay, so it, it does cost some spirit uh, to do it, but that's kind of cool. Neat. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and leave that alone. <laughs> that's kind of neat. We have so much stuff going on. I love this. Now that I've gotten rid of her, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, boy, guys. Oh, boy. Look at this right here. Another dog. Two dogs outside. What are the chances of that? I wonder if that's a mod doing that. Whoa. Dog did not like that. Oh, boy. Oh, look at that. It got chilled. Oh, that's so effective. And it looks like... Do we have... Whoa, what? Holy crap! What in the world? Did that thing just... Whoa, look at those go! I think that thing just took out that tree on us! What even is that? Oh no, we, yeah, we can't have her around. We gotta get rid of her, so let's go ahead. And... Sneak up on her. Boom! There we go. Can we give her a loot while she's down? Yeah! <laughs> and she missed me too, nice! Alright, well, oh, damn! 
Oh my god, it like freezes you in place. That's that's insane. Oh, eat some of that. This is so much fun. This whole ranged game is an absolute blast. There we go. Eat some fire. Oh. Oh, those things are so fast. They're so hard to dodge. There we go. She's on fire too, so she's got like a, a damage over a time effect going on. Is she dead? Oh, nope, nope. That was just an angry sound she was making. It almost sounded like a death sound. Okay, here we go. Fallen Sorcerer Soul. <laughs> Jeez, this is so intense, guys. I do apologize for yelling at you. Oh, but hey, look at this. We can actually get spells from the Fallen. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, whoa, what in the world? Why are there so many dogs? Is it those things summoning the dogs? It's gotta be those things summoning the dogs. That was the third dog we've encountered today alone. Wow, that is intense. Okay, hopefully this area is rather clear now and I can actually get to what I wanted to do is investigating all those new tables and uh, repairing this house up a bit. Oh, look at this, guys. I'm going and I'm, I'm looking at our status effects here because we have so many going up this side. Uh, when you get hit by lightning and ice, you, uh, a recent encounter has left you lightning touched, imbuing you with a supernatural power for a limited time. Attackers may become touched. 100% lightning essence fine, uh, plus attack, harvest, movement speed. Oh, that's sick. That's why I'm doing this so fast. So getting hit by spells can actually be, be beneficial. We have like super gathering for the next eight, six to eight minutes. Oh my God, I'm gonna take advantage of this big time. What? Oh no, 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 no. Stop with this, stop with this madness. Ooh, what just happened there? <laughs> Boom, there you go. Can't do anything now, can you doggy? Holy crap, what the heck? It must've been like maybe a, a wandering dog horde or something. There's just so many of them. Oh, and that actually somehow rebuffed our status over on this side. Oh, this is so crazy, guys. I can't even keep up with this. All right, so I've gone and got a whole ton of wood. So we should be good here for filling in all these holes and getting this all fixed up. But down here, I don't really care about too much, but I want to make sure that that second floor is all nice and uh, reinforced. So I'm going to start up there first. We're going to take care of this here. And what I might do actually is take out some of these stairs too and make it impossible for them to get up here. That way I can make a hole through those floors and shoot down at them from up here instead of hiding up on the roof uh, at, at night time, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I've gone and kind of cleared this floor out down here. What I did was I left this hole here. That's a hole we can use to uh, shoot down at any zombies that might make it into our place. And there's no more stairs, so the zombies can't make it up to the floor that we're up up there. So of course I'm gonna have to make some frames here. What we'll do just for now is actually, no, we, we can make ladders, we can make ladders. What am I doing? This is vanilla plus, not um, not uh, dark, or not darkness falls. Oh my God. Uh, anyway, a mod that, that will not allow you to build ladders without nails and stuff. There we go, Undead Legacy, that's what I'm looking for. Also a very good mod as well. We're gonna be doing uh, both of those at the same time. But there we go, so we can hop up too. And we are good to go upstairs, nice. So we got this place secured here. It would be a good idea to go ahead and upgrade all of this here to the second level of wood and then to cobblestone because we're gonna be putting our uh, work foundations on this. But this is a good night project to do. What we need to do now is get our storage from down here to up there. So I'm gonna place down a few storage containers and get myself organized. There we go. So I've got myself organized here, which is very important, I think, early game, you know, just to make sure you're making the best of your time. Like I said, I, that's one thing I really hate doing is organizing. But I like being organized, so it's a, a necessary evil to do. So let's move the sorcery desk over uh, to a way better spot. There we go. 
And oh, look at that little book of thank you on there, updates on there. <laughs> That's really neat. So this here is our sorcerer's desk. So we already have one of these, but we unlocked a few other things here with our arcane skills. So let's go ahead and uh, take a little bit of a look at this. Under alchemy, we unlock the enchanter mortar, which we already have one of. Under runes, we unlock the enchanting table. And I do believe, what's this one here? This is a sorcerer's desk. So let's see what the enchanting table looks like. There we are. Oh, that looks, oh, that looks cool. Whoa, what is this? Omni extract. Fire Essence, Ice Essence, Lightning Essence. Okay, those aren't too hard to get, I don't think. But what's the Omni Extract? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so Omni Extract is made out of just Essence? Oh, it's just made out of any Essence here. And we make this. Uh, Omni Extract is the product of transmuting Essence at a Spell Forge. It, in its refined form, Omni Extract is an important ingredient required by many sorcerer get, or crafting recipes. So this is our Spell Forge here. Can we, can we do an Omni? Can we do the Omni here? We can! Uh, so in order to make this, of course, we're going to have to put some fuel up in here. Do we need any tools or anything to do that? Oh no, but we can make 54 of these out of the essence that we have. Where is that essence even stored? Oh, it's in here! That's right, we, are, we already put it in here. So let's go ahead, conjure that up. That's going to take, what, 30 seconds? And since we have some fuel in here, let's go ahead and throw some of the essence in. So what I've done here from my storage is all the magical stuff goes in here. All my components go in there, all my food stuff goes in there, and weapon and health stuff can all go in there. But of course, we're going to need a lot of this essence. So I'm going to use a lightning essence, I think, and put that up in there. There we go. I do believe that's how that works correctly. So the lightning essence did not work. I put it in there and it just wouldn't forge it. So it doesn't look like you can use a lightning essence either. That's a, a tree that's not in the mod yet. So yeah. Anyway, how many of those did we need to actually make that table? We needed 50 of them, so we definitely have that. So let's uh, see if we have the fire essence and the lightning essence required to make that. Uh, we have fire spell, we have some lightning essence, and we have some fire essence. Oh, nice. Okay, so where do we make this in? We do it at the sorcerer desk. Ah, oh, nice. Let's get this made. So we got the enchanting table. Let's go ahead and take that out and see what it looks like. Ooh, that is huge and I love it. So we're gonna go ahead, toss that into that corner over there. Oh, that is really neat. Oh, I like it. He did a great job with these assets, by the way. I would like to mention that he did such a good job with the assets, the hitboxes are correct. You can actually upgrade blocks underneath it through it and uh, that's a big deal. I know that's not a big deal to some people, but it is a big deal. So like, check it out, look at that. It doesn't matter, I, I can reach through it and upgrade it. That is a lot of work on the modder's behalf. So much, much appreciated. Oh, that sprite effect was really, really neat. Okay, so we can now make ourselves some basic runes. So in order to do that, you use Omni Extract. Oh, that is so neat. And Duke's Casino tokens. Oh my god. What's this? The Eternal Youth Rune. What does this one do? Uh, imbue armor and clothing with healing power. Okay, so apparently it heals you. Uh, although it said just a whole bunch of zero percent. Maybe this isn't working. Hmm. Really super neat though. Okay, so we got that enchanting table done. Let's go ahead and take a look at our skills over here and see which other ones we unlocked. I think it was a scroll mastery. Uh, what did we unlock? Uh, oh, we unlocked common scrolls at the sorcerer's desk. So that's the only other station that we actually ended up unlocking. Neat. So we got all of our tables and everything in. We still got some time here today, guys. I think it's a really good idea to maybe head out and do a little bit of looting so that we have some stuff to eat and uh, just get our basics together. So we're going to head, I uh, do believe, maybe north up that road and see what's going on. Before we head out, guys, I'm going to go ahead and use up the essence that we found and make ourselves some more ice spells. These ones are very useful, especially when we come across those other sorcerers. So I'll wait out the time here, and then we'll head up north. 
Oh, look at this. Quest completed. Sorcery Journal of Ice Knowledge. Three of five. Craft a spell. So we got a whole bunch of these quests here going in the background, too. And we get random rewards. So the time has come to test your knowledge of ice. Let's see if the elders write about you for your sake. I sure as hell hope so. What takes most lifetime to even come close to achieving, you must do in a single day. While well, prepared for the uh, what lies ahead, sorcerer, it's nothing after all. Okay. Anyway, that uh, that quest is going to keep continuing. It's kind of hard to keep up with all of those. Uh, but we got defeat undead using ice sorcery. Head to the rally point almost a thousand meters away. Oh, that's cool. Okay, we're not going to do that quest right about now. Maybe that's a tomorrow thing. I don't know. We could get our butts kicked too. So uh, we'll have to take a look at that. But let's head north up this road. This is where we started, guys. Right over here. This is where the action began. And see if it has anything good to offer us. Oops, that's the wrong road. I want to go up this way. All right. Wow, guys. Look at this. We got a Bob's Cafe up here. And this is a great source of food. Well, not a great source, but it's a source of, like, food stuff. So hopefully we can find some. And I have a special place in my heart for this because my dog's name is Bob. Bob is awesome. All right. Let's go and check this out. We're just going to go ahead and break through the front door, announce our presence. And, uh, whoa, Jesus. That sounded like it was right next to me. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not gonna go through the front door. Let's see if there's an easier way in here. Oh, hey, buddy, what's going on? Okay, so let's equip our ice spell here. We do have the uh, right one, I believe, equipped. Yeah, we do. All right, buddy, here you go. Boom! <laughs> Jeez. Okay, another. Okay, I think it only. No, I think that hit him. What are you doing? Uh. What? Well, that was kind of useful. <laughs> well, thank you very much, good sir, uh, for taking care of those spikes for me. Here we go. We'll, we'll do some loot and let that zombie try to break through the door back here. Maybe save us. Oh, it's unlocked. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, and there's definitely, holy crap, a few zombies chilling out in here. Let's uh, let's try to get the sneak. Whoa, jeez. Let's try to get the sneaky sneak on those ones in the back room. Hmm, maybe I should save that for the sorcerers. We really don't have that many spells, so that will probably be the, in, our, in our best interest here. There we go. Well, at least I got some sneak damage in on him. All right, and that one is down. We don't even have that many arrows either. I think we got just enough probably to clean this place up. Ooh. There we go, and she took care of the, that last one. Okay, I was going to say, is she not going to get the ice aura? That's not very fair at all. Here we are. Boom. And she is down. Let's go and take care of this guy. Wow, 333 trader, uh, trader cash. It's a nice little find. I like that. Okay, I think this guy's going to take a few hits here. These guys are uh, these guys are pretty peepy. Uh, I almost wish these guys did like a little bit of an explo explosion when you killed them. <laughs> the damage over time got them. Noise. Okay, anyone else up in here? Anyone else hiding? Let's take a little bit of a quick look here. Stupid trash on the floor. It's going to give us away. Get rid of that. And... Not seeing anyone so far. Oh, we're good. We're golden. Okay, let's give this place a little bit of a loot here. There's a ton of cupboards up in here. We're getting an empty can, empty can. And, oh, look at this. We got an Augment Logging Scroll. I keep forgetting about these, too. I think we should really use them. Uh, plus damage for wood for 30 minutes. These buffs are absolutely amazing. Uh, so I got to keep that in mind. Use these things. They're almost like the candy in Alpha 19. Almost like the um, same kind of concept, really. They just replace it, right? Okay, so hopefully we can find some drinks and stuff in here because I got no water. I got no pot either. And, ooh. We do have some food up in here, though. Oh, and they do still have the candy. I guess uh, it doesn't get removed with a mod, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Large beef ration, though, we will buy that. That is actually a very good source of food. How many coins do we have left? Uh, we have enough to buy two cans. Perfect. Awesome. So I'm finding a bunch of magical stuff in those cupboards, so it's definitely worth giving cupboards a search here. I think even maybe later game. Uh, now, with the rate we're actually finding these, I don't know if there's an actual point to, to really making them. I mean, we don't really seem to have a problem uh, obtaining them at all. 
Oh, look guys, we got cornbread recipe. Let's go ahead and read that. That's extremely valuable. Never look over cornbread. Uh, okay, refrigerator, old sink, and oh, a seed, a seed recipe. We will never use that, but we will learn it just to get it out of our inventory. Okay, what do we have in here? A bathroom? Do we have any shenanigans going on in here? Does not appear to be. That is good. We will go ahead and make our way up to the roof here. See if there's anything good up this way. It's been a while since I've actually looted this place, so it's kind of it's kind of nice. It's like a little refreshing. You come back, loot a place you haven't looted in a while, and it uh, it almost feels all brand new again. Oh, oh damn it! Oh okay. I thought that was a sorcerer for a second. They just happened to get our ice ores, so that's what's going on. There we go. Showed those guys who is boss, and we got ourselves a nice little stash up here. All sick. Oh, wow. Look at all this stuff in here. That's incredible. Uh, so I think this actually would have been a better place to settle on uh, for beginning our Let's Play. But whatever. We got our nice little house now. We will uh, we'll keep that. There we go. What do we got in our Shamway box? Oh, nice. Some food stuffs. Okay. Well, mission complete, guys. We got uh, some food stuff and everything that we needed from this place. So... Uh, that is a win. Let's go ahead take a look around. Doesn't really look like there's too much going on down this way. There's just a cafe in the middle of nowhere. So what we'll do then is head uh, just a little bit more north. What time is it? 15.59? We got some time. We can at least uh, do maybe a little bit of scouting. All right, let's get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle stand. So coming up this way, it wasn't really too far of a run. We got another little bit of a run down house and what looks like an intersection that leads more places. So I've been told on the Navisgain map, if you keep heading north, that is how you get to the winter biome. So that's definitely a place uh, we want to be going. Now, when I see this here, I see these zombies with that on them. I think it's because there's a sorcerer nearby, a fallen sorcerer, and they're actually buffing the zombies around them. Now, that's just a theory. I don't know if that's true, but it looks like it may be. Now, I still have a few minutes here before nighttime, so what I'm going to do is head back towards home. I'm going to get some resources together. I'm going to mine some dirt, uh, some clay. I'm going to mine myself some stone, and we're going to get uh, some cobblestone together, too, so we can start upgrading the base a little more. Ah, look at this guy over here all walking by himself. See, he's buffed. Must be a sorcerer or something nearby. Because uh, I don't think that's from us at all. I started digging out a little bit of a hole on the side of this hill over here. So I can uh, get our dirt and our stone that we need. And it looks like I've actually run into a little bit of a coal mine. Which is really neat. Because we can use that to actually uh, run our forges and stuff. And it's a lot more efficient. Alright guys, I'm going to keep kind of digging away here. And making some cobble and doing some more digging. Making some cobble. I'll see you guys here before night falls. So, here we go. We got some supplies together. We got uh, just about 250 cobblestone together. That's, I do believe, about 25 blocks worth of upgrades. Let's head inside because I do want to do a little bit of upgrading down here before nightfall. Because I, I want some supports. So, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this block fully before anything else. Just in case they dig up around it. And then we can create ourselves another pillar here. And we'll get this pillar nice and upgraded as well. That way, if they come down here and start banging at the walls making holes and stuff we have more of a chance of the floor staying up and not falling down which is really really a good thing okay let's get this upgraded here and i think we're gonna call this one our main support pole it's under all of our tables and stuff uh the other one is back under this corner i should probably upgrade one of these poles too here we go let's get these done yeah, it's 10 per block, so we're looking pretty good there. We got a couple extra support builds now in our play, or support pillars in our place. And I'm very, very happy with that outcome. So basically, all I have left to do now on the night uh, cycle is pretty much get all of this together. Ooh, we need to make ourselves some arrows too, so that I can actually shoot down at them. Ice spell arrows. Oh, that's cool. So where do you make these? Uh, yeah, of course I know these existed, but I totally forgot about that. So we make these, I think, maybe in here. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Stone arrow, ice spell arrow. Okay, so you do make it in here, but you need an ice core. Oh, that's what those cores are for. So let's go ahead 
Uh, we got an ice core right here. Do we have any other cores? We have an ice ritual shard. Does not look like we have any other cores, but we can use this ice core in our workbench. There we go. And now we can make ourselves uh, some ice spell arrows. Oh, that's neat. Okay, I'm gonna make those up here. It uses up the ice spells, but hey, I think that'll be extremely useful. Oh, that sound. I love that sound. There we go, nice and organized. So of course I can go through here. I do, don't do think we're actually uh, fully equipped here. Yeah, no, we don't have hands, legs, or oh, actually we don't even have feet going on. Uh, so let's go ahead, you know what, we're, we're gonna go and we're gonna wear this. We don't really need it, but we will put it on. Uh, we do need some scrap gloves, so we'll wear those. And these will work, I think. Oh no, here we go, we can wear these too, I believe. Oh no, let's, let's switch them out for those ones. I don't know what exactly is modded uh, quite yet, but that's the only bottoms we have. Okay, that's okay. There we go, a little more well-equipped and we are good to go. Now, we did get some more uh, blunderbuss ammo, so let's go ahead and stick that in our tool belt and use it as a backup weapon. So guys, we're looking pretty damn good here tonight. I wanna thank you guys for coming out to this series. This is an absolutely amazing mod, and I really, really can't wait to get to uh, more of it. Where did that torch go? I knew we had a torch, there we are. Uh, so, I'm gonna spend the night here just kinda upgrading the place, getting it all nice and beefed up, and then we'll come back for tomorrow's episode and go and do some more looting, exploring, and see what else we can unlock. This is so very exciting. Oh, and look at that, level five now, and we have three skill points to spend because I got a couple more Grim Wars. So we'll take a look too at those skill points when we come back next episode. So everyone, stay classy. Remember, always back up them game saves, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. People say I need to get a little action. People say my love life is fiction. People say I wouldn't give them no satisfaction. Well, I wouldn't know, it's beyond my imagination I keep my pants up high and my zipper closed And people wonder why I never get rid of those Awesome looking sunglasses that I got off of eBay at a special price Anyway, you get the picture right People love to hate a pain of